Hi everyone! Today I brought a video that many people have been wondering about. How to make a bra strap. You can actually hook the bra slider onto the shoulder strap, but it can be challenging and requires more skill. So we'll take an easier way to put it together, and I'll show you some tips as well. Are you ready? Let's go! First, open your design. I have a bikini set that I made last time. If you're wondering how to make a bikini, check out the link at the top. The bra slide and hook are quite small, so for putting it together, we can set the particle distance to lower than 5. I set it to 3 and also reduce the thickness to 0.5 inches. I'll add the slider right here. So make an internal line at the location where you want to add it. Copy two more internal lines like this. Make a rectangle with the same width as your strap inches and a height of 0.5 inches. Then, open the slider by double-clicking and drag and drop it onto the strap. Place the small rectangle pattern here. We are going to sew it together between each slider hole so we can replace the line position to fit between the holes. Then, sew this pattern with segment sewing and simulate it. It looks just flat, so we'll adjust the detail settings. Turn off the simulation and pull it outside. Go to the property editor, set the particle distance to 3, and add thickness to 0.5 inches. Then simulate again. Now it looks attached, but not exactly. Mm -hmm. 
so make sure to check if the collision is on. Then simulate once more. When these patterns collide, arrange the pattern so it doesn't interfere with the object. I don't want to move this shoulder strap again, so I'll freeze it and simulate. Now it's attached successfully. We need to sew more pattern parts. So select and cut and sew this internal line. and delete the sewing line like this. First, copy the middle pattern. This way is the same as when we attach the sleeve with the buckle. I'll copy the same shape curved so it's easy to put together. Place it well inside the slider hole. You can reduce the length to fit with the slider and freeze it. Now we can merge the outer strap patterns. and place it closer, then we can re-sew the strap. Next, we're going to make one more strap to place inside for additional support and connection. Just copy this strap and sew it to the very back. Now, we are going to add a hook at the bottom. However, I'll show different ways to add objects with no collision feature. I want to add it around here, so make an internal line on the strap like this. It doesn't need to be in the perfect position where the internal lines are placed. Then just sew these internal lines.
Make one more internal line for each and sew them as well. Then cut and sew. And open the hook object here and reduce the size to fit. Add new fabric and set the opacity to zero when it's ready. Then drag and drop it. and reduce the length by selecting these patterns together to make it look hooked. Then freeze all the patterns. Make a copy symmetrically and add the slider with the hook. If you need more room between straps, you can increase the number of the addle thickness collision. Additionally, if you want to attach a closer strap to the slider, you can reduce the collision thickness. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope making the bra strap was easy for you. See you next time with a more useful video. Bye.